What's up guys, it's Alex here and uh, today I started off the, um, the day a little bit earlier today. Uh, I'm actually taking the car to Cobbs of SoCal. Um, it's finally going to get tuned. I'm going to get it tuned over there at Cobb, Cobb Tuning and um, it should be, I'm pretty excited. Hopefully it puts out good numbers. Um, I'm just, mostly I'm just looking for a reliable, safe tune so I could push the car, have fun with it and you know, just be reliable on the new build. And I know it's been a while since the build, so I finally actually gonna get a tune. I've decided just to go to Cobb SoCal, and um, it's, it should be good, except that there's a bunch of traffic. As you guys saw me put it into the GPS, it's two hours away. The traffic is insane right now. You know what I mean? You gotta love LA traffic, right? As you guys saw, I got my car wrapped. It's a little update there. It was um, just a quick little video. I'm gonna be make, working on a bunch of other videos of how it, how the wrap looks. Um, you know, more detailed video. But just just now, I'm um, I've been a little busy with school. But uh, hopefully, I'll be bringing out more videos for you guys. And uh, today, hope you guys enjoy this video. We're going up to, uh, like I said, Cobb, SoCal, and finally getting this baby tune. So stay tuned. Let's go. Thirty-six bucks to fill it up. It's about a quarter tank. Eleven gallons for thirty-six. Not bad. So we're just about a probably like a block away, two or three blocks away. All right, finally made it. it took about two hours just with the navigation set. Uh, not bad. So let's see what's in store for us here. Alright, so I'm in, in the little like lounge area here at Cobb, uh, Cobb Tuning and I'm waiting for the car to start getting tuned. It, um, actually we had a little couple issues with the car, it was uh, actually too low for the, the dyno. So now um, they raised it up a couple times, or they raised it up a bit and uh, now it's actually at the dyno. They have a cool little screen here. They have this monitor here that monitors uh, like the that's the car right there, and that's the dyno process. But it hasn't, the car hasn't gone on there yet. It's cool little lounge here. All right, guys. So I'm heading back home from Cobb. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon, and um, I'm stuck in traffic again on the 405. LA traffic sucks. Anyways, um, I was unable to get any results because uh, the external wastegate that I have on the car, it is actually, um, there's a spring in there that, that decides what, uh, what pounds, of, pounds of boost you're gonna be boosting on the turbos. And apparently the one I have there is a little too strong for, this, for the turbo. And that might have been the reason why the car had issues the first time I got the tune. But anyways, um, they were able to find out what the problem was, so now I'm heading back home, babying the car still, haven't, haven't been able to boost since the rebuild pretty much. I'm going to have to change the springs to a little uh, lesser tension, and um, so I'm going to have to change that out. Once I have that changed out, I'm going to come back to Co Cobb. Um, I already have an appointment. My uh, appointment is uh, December 14th, it's on a, um, some, probably pretty much a month from now. Uh, the reason being I'm going to Japan at the end of this month, so I can't do anything at the end of this month or anytime soon because I'm also busy with school. So hopefully by then everything I'll be coming back from my trip and um, I'll have everything worked out and I'll be able to actually take it back to back to Cobb and uh, hopefully get actually some results. But uh, I'm actually glad that they found out that, that problem. Now uh, hopefully we get that fixed and uh, the car will be running smooth. Thanks for watching guys. I uh, really appreciate you guys watching this. Uh, catch you guys next time. Peace.